Some big changes to both teams as Columbia's crosstown rivals prepare for the Providence Bowl on August 26th. Find out what will be different with these familiar football teams coming up in sports. This first alert weather update is brought to you now from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Good morning, everyone. High school football practices started in Missouri yesterday, and Columbia schools are preparing to begin the season against each other on August 26th. The QPs with a new head coach this season, Hickman alum Arnell Monroe, is now in charge. Monroe served as an assistant coach on the 2004 team that won a state championship. Logan Fitch returns as the team's starting quarterback. Fitch passed for more than 2,000 yards last season. He also threw 23 touchdowns with only three interceptions. Coach Monroe says he could hardly sleep the night. You know, I'm just unspeakably excited. I was up at 3.30 this morning. Um, running through things in my head, there's, it seems like there's 9,000 things to do. Uh, you didn't, you know, when you're an assistant, you don't see this side of it. So, yeah, really excited. I mean, team. Team has been uh, the big component this year. He's done a great job uh, bringing us all together as a team and really building this team character. Rockbridge with two-a-day practices this week. Bruins head coach A.J. Afadley enters his ninth season in charge with a career record of 41 and 40. Rockbridge has a new starting quarterback this season. Senior Bo Bell will run the offense. Bell is hoping to ring up some connections with tight end Austin Ray, who recently committed to play at Ole Miss. Afadley says there is a lot of work to do before the season starts. We're really still defining roles. I mean, we got some positions that are still uh, up for grabs. We got some guys that are still trying to define themselves as players. So at this age, I mean, uh, there's a lot that's still up for grabs. We're still trying to get it figured out. It's very exciting. I mean, we've been practicing all summer, so we kind of got most of the stuff going already. But, uh, you know, this is really the, the start of the season. So, I mean, it's, it's fun. Mizzou preseason football camp has been underway for five days. Day number five yesterday marked the first workout in full pads for the Tigers. The offense and defense competed in team drills as well as position-specific technique drills. The defense won team drills yesterday on the last few plays, and that victory has the offense hungry. And defense, they came out on top today. Uh, it's, always, it's always hard, especially in the red zone, but uh, they did a really good job, and we need to come back tomorrow and try and win that one. We get a little lippy with the offense sometimes, but I, I, we won camp last year, so that's the goal this year. We just got to take it one day at a time. We didn't, we didn't pull it out today. It came down to the last few plays, and as an offense, we need to make more plays and come out with that victory because it's going to be games like that this year. And next, tomorrow, we're going to come out even harder and try to win. At the Country Club of Missouri yesterday, the 21st annual Rainbow House Golf Classics. Six professional golfers gathered at CCMO to raise money for the Rainbow House, a Columbia home for abused and neglected children. Former Mizzou Hickman High star Jason Schultz headlined the group that also included Doug Barron, Craig Bowden, Jay Delsing, Trevor Dodds, and Willie Wood. The day of golf included a pro-am in the morning, followed by a skills challenge in the afternoon. The Cardinals had the night off. They begin a series with the first place Brewers tonight at Bush Stadium. The Royals and Rays began a four game series in Florida yesterday. And check out that beautiful view. Top first, Alex Gordon doubles to left center. His first hit ever at Tropicana Field was previously 0 for 37. A few batters later, as they say, better lucky than good as Eric Hosmer checks his swing but gets an RBI single out of it, 1-0 Royals. Bottom seventh, Casey Kochman singles to center. Milky Cabrera's throw offline, game tied at one. Former Tiger Aaron Crow in the game gets the strikeout to end the eighth, still tied 1-1. Bottom nine, first pitch, and Kochman says, see a baseball, see a baseball game, as he walks off in fashion with the home run. Rays win, 2-1.
Megan and David, with the football season, you know, just less than a month away, who do you guys think or what do you guys think will be the biggest key if the Tigers are to succeed this season? I think it's going to be interesting to see how the quarterback thing plays out. You know, yeah. new, quarterback, new quarterback, and so, you know, you got to have the team behind you, that and I'm sure they are. That makes it all the more important for a strong defense. Right, and the nice defense. thing about it is defense, <laughs> defense. defense. defense wins games. The nice thing is Gary Pinkle is such a good quarterback coach. Yes. You know, he's been a quarterback coach in the mm -hmm. past. So. Anyway, mm -hmm. we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Common, thank you very much. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine.